Hi, this is Ron from hi. POCculture.com. Kelly, how are you? Oh, hi, Ron. Hi, I'm, I'm really good. Thank you. How are you? Great. Nice to chat with you. Just to start, I, me. oh yeah, absolutely. I'm very excited. Um, mm -hmm. Just to start, this is your first major American film. So I just want to know how exciting is it to be part of a film like this? Oh, like you imagine, very excited. Yes, my very first huge production, North America for me and everything is still a blur to me. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure it's only gonna get crazier as the uh, film premieres and after that. So that's very exciting. Yes. What was it about this film that really interested you in terms of story and your character? Who interests me at the first time? Or yeah, just when you heard about the project and the story, what was it that really grabbed you and made you interested in the in the film? Roland, of course. Like who doesn't like 2012 and, and Day After Tomorrow and Independence Day, right? So <laughs> absolutely an opportunity for me to work with him. Like nobody in the business wouldn't want to work with Roland, right? So like you imagine that I, I was really excited but it only got me like five minutes to interview with him uh, over Zoom. So it was pretty weird at the beginning, but then I got the role, so everything all set. That's great, right? Because- That's with, crazy. <laughs> all this film in terms of making the film and everything you had to do during the pandemic, which I'm sure was very yes. challenging. Could you talk a little bit about um, how tough it was to make this film during this time? Uh, I was pretty tough actually and and Roland and Harold they told me that usually uh, when we do a film together we would have lots of parties and dinner plans and stuff but all we did was stay in our rooms and talk over phones and, and zoom calls meetings and, and stuff so it was pretty tough being alone yeah. of course right which all is something we, I think we're all struggling with during this time right um, you talked about Roland being uh, the big draw for you, and he's just such a legend, has some incredible films. Um, yeah. what, what was it like working with him? What's his directing style, and how did he help um, you in, in your role for this film? He, he just works and works nonstop. Can you imagine? Like, we, we would go there, and we see him every day. I ask him all the time, are you tired? even just a little bit, but he's always like so excited and, and just nonstop drinks lots of coffee. Maybe I, I don't know, his <laughs> secret, but, but you never see him tired. That's amazing. Um, I'm sure he, someone like him has to have high energy. Um, somebody else who I'd uh, love to hear about your, your working relationship with um, Halle Berry, obviously is also a legend. Um, yes. What was it like being in a film with her? And is there anything that, um, you know, she that you two worked on that she kind of helped you or anything like that? Um, she's a real like chill person. She's really nice and sweet. We talk all the time. We, we talk about her kids. I remembered she always has big smiles on her face. No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell what we talk about. No, nah, not true. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. You can keep that to yourself. Right. <laughs> um, you know, you have like a, a good perspective, like almost like a blend of East and West perspective. I know that you moved to Vancouver when you were a teen. Um, what was that transition like coming from China to, to Canada, you know, growing up as a teen? How difficult was that? Or was it was it a good experience? Um, I, I can't tell anymore because I'm always traveling. I travel a lot. Before, um, before, before China, there was like Korea, spent two years in Korea, and then Taiwan, and lots of different places. So I kind of learned to, to live by myself, like, I feel like more and more comfortable that way. And it's just different experiences. Everywhere is the, it's, everywhere is different. Every cultural, yeah. like, differences that you have to deal with but but then you know you learn to accept it and learn to get used to it yeah I'm sure it's um really an asset especially for a career like yours and singing and acting mm -hmm. um being that this is your first you know big American film like we talked about what are some kind of differences or similarities when in terms of making films and projects, TV and all that in China versus in uh, America? How was that adjustment for you? 
honestly, it's not the same. Can you imagine? Like first time when I when I got this role, I was really nervous because I I wouldn't know what to do. Like I wouldn't tell. This is my first time, right? So I wouldn't tell what's the difference between making a movie、uh, in China or in America. But then when I when I got on set, it's it's pretty much all the same. You, you just go on there and just act, say your lines, and everything else just sorted sorted out by itself. That's interesting.、Mm. Uh, I love to hear about how things like that are similar in between,、right. you know,、Everywhere. two different countries. You wouldn't expect it to be the same, but then it turned out to be the same. Just shows you how much we all have more in common than than right. differences. Right.、Uh, for this film, was there anyone amongst the cast、um, that you became really close with or developed a really good relationship with? Um, I've spent a lot of time with、um, Charlie Plummer and and the little boy Zane. He's really sweet too.、Uh, he's he's pretty fun too. He's only、that. eight years old. Yeah. <laughs> It was pretty cool, actually. It's it's his, like it's his first movie ever. He did a really good job, by the way. You should check、That's、him、great. out. Yeah, definitely, definitely.、Um, I enjoy his, his character too.、Um, it's kind of a funny coincidence. This movie, like the moon, is a major character in the film,、mm-hmm. and、um, of course, like Lunar New Year is right around the corner.、Um, what do you think Chinese audiences, in particular, are really going to enjoy about this film? The Chinese people. I I don't know if they can get out. Then they <laughs> they would <laughs> they would really enjoy this film in in the theater because this movie is made for the big screen. You have to see all the CGs through the big screen in the theater. So that's what I'm telling everybody. You have to get out and and see the movie in the theater. And it really is grand in scale.、Um, you know, obviously global and and, and you know in space. Um, how was that like in terms of filming those scenes with green screen and CGI?、Um, you know, having to be creative. How was that experience for you?、Uh, it was bad <laughs> because <laughs> because everything was a blur and we like we we wouldn't know what's going on and we have to pretend that we know that there's a bird falling, that there, there's the moon, and all we see is is that. That yellow circle in front of the that we pretend that it's the moon. <laughs> I'm sure that's a challenge that so many people have to deal with nowadays、um, with those these types of grand films.、Um, but I think you did a great job with that.、Um, what's next for you in terms of future? What kind of films and stories would you like to work on?、Uh, I I don't know. I I honestly like this is my first American movie ever. But then,、uh, because of this COVID thing, I can't really like I can't even attend the、uh, premiere, right? So I I had I had to stay inside China because I'm shooting another movie here in China, so I can't really I can't really get out of this this area right now. So I don't know I I don't know my plans for the next two few、uh, a few years actually. I don't know when this thing's gonna get better, but I do hope this this COVID thing is gonna go by for a、uh, Quick and fast, and we all don't have to deal with this real disaster anymore. Agreed.、Um, it's been so difficult for all of us, and like you said, the challenges you face. We hope that we can see you in more、uh, U.S. films soon. My last question is: You talked about Roland being a big draw for you for this film. Are there any other、um, U.S. directors or actors that you would love to work with? That would be a dream、um, project for you. Um, my first goal will be Anne Lee, actually. Maybe that feels closer to me too. Yeah, that would be great.、Um, right, I would love to see you work with with Ang.、Um, obviously, another legend. I think that'd be a great fit. Well,、um, we hope to see that. We hope, like you said, COVID gets done soon, so we can all enjoy this movie in theaters. Congratulations, and hope to see you, you. in the future.